Hi guys, it's Grant here with Collective. Today, I wanted to discuss two of the new features that have been rolled out to Power BI users in the previous weeks. The first one being the ability to export a matrix in Power BI with the current layout instead of having it summarized in a crude looking table in Excel. Before you would go to export this matrix and you'd do underlying data. That would give you a very bland looking table with no formatting and this hierarchy not in place. However, an easier way to analyze your data is now exporting the data with the current layout. So it will export it with the hierarchies intact, but without any of the conditional formatting that has been added in Power BI. So we'll export that and then we'll take a look at the new data that we have just exported. And here you can see that the format of the table and the layout is exactly the same as in the Power BI service, which allows you to perform deeper analysis in Excel. However, it does not have the conditional formatting that was applied in Power BI. That is a great new addition to Power BI, being able to analyze it in this format. It just makes it a lot easier making business decisions and performing any extra calculations uh, necessary in Excel. Uh, so the next feature I wanted to touch on was the addition of being able to connect to a Power BI data set in Excel, we'll go here to add a pivot table. We can do Power BI data set. We'll just click one of these data sets here. And here you can select your fields from Power BI and create a pivot table. So we will do just that. We'll throw in country for the rows and then we'll just do a simple current year sales versus last year's sales. And so now we have a pretty simple pivot table. However, the new feature allows us to create visuals in Excel and have them connected with a Power BI report. And so what we can do here is create a clustered column chart to show the difference in sales this year and last year versus countries. And so you are now able to create visualizations in Excel and have them connected with Power BI reports. These two new additions to the export to Excel environment have been very useful already, and I foresee even more improvements in the future. For more videos from me and Collective, follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube. Thank you guys.